What is up, you guys? It's Violet Taylor here, and welcome back to Let's Catch a Vibe. Now, I hope everyone's feeling great, feeling amazing, feeling vibey. As you guys can see, we have a brand new skin that kicks off the Fortnite summer season. So, jumping straight in, we have the Razor Ray skin. Have a blast and don't look back. Part of the Rally Rocketeer set, first introduced in Chapter 4, Season 3. Now, I do want to read off because there is specific dates for how long this summer event lasts. So, if I can get it all to load properly. Uh, where is it, 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 where is it? So yeah, um, the Summer Escape, this one's called, from July the 4th to July the 18th. Um, so yeah, jumping straight in. Love the fact that she's got a playing card on her helmet there. Really, really cool. Love the vibrancy of it. Moving on to the back bling, we have the Boom Bag. Keep your friends close and your, munit your munitions closer. I mean, I don't think you can get any closer than having two missiles in your back. But anyway, we also have like a Love Heart playing card there, which is an ace. That one is a clubs or sp spade, sorry. Moving us on to the harvesting tools, we have the scoop slicers. Don't get stuck in the sand. Let's see the swing animation. Okay, not bad. Standard, uh, <laughs> standard shovel sound. Anyway, moving us on to the return of the man that is behind everything, the Chaos Agent. Now, I have heard we're meant to be getting a um, new Chaos Agent skin, so stay tuned for that. But anyway, jumping in, we have the Chaos Agent. Undermine the Order from the Shadows. Part of the Final Reckoning set, first introduced in Chapter 2, Season 1. Two styles, as you guys can see, we have the default. And then we have the alternate style, which is the Goofy style. Moving us on to the back bling, we have the Ooze Chamber. Contain yourself. Again, absolutely love the back bling when you have it equipped with the skin, because it looks like the tubes are coming from the back bling into the skin. Moving us on to the Chaos Scythe. Harvest Disarray. Part of the Fire Reckoning set. Let's see the swing animation. Nice. I like to use this on the Venom skin because, again, it pretty much looks like a symbiote. Moving us on from this, we have the Black Ooze Animated Wrap. Again, I like to use this one on the Venom symbiote. But yeah, animated over the entire weapon, the Black Ooze. As you guys can see, we can cycle through various different weapon models, which you guys have seen on the screen. Moving us away from this, we move on to the second half, where we have the return of the Renegade Robotics Bundle. Now, as you guys can see, I have already covered this in its own Is or Is It Not Worthy Bundle video, but let's not take away from the fact we have the return of the Renegade Raider skin. Bit updated, but still very cool. Moving us on to the return of the Anamon's Heart Bundle. Again, really, really great bundle. You guys know I covered this shortly before we had Miles Morales in the game. But anyway, really cool. Really, really cool. Um, again, like I said, I've covered it in its own Is or Is It Not Worthy Bundle video. Moving us swiftly on to the, um, what seems to be, what, the fourth? Fifth part of the, of the uh, feature store. Anyway, we move on to the archetype skin. Engineered for combat performance. Part of the archetype set, first introduced in OG Season 5. Looking very, very cool. Moving us on to the back bling, we have the paradigm. Utility redefined. Again, always helps to have a radio. Always helps to have some extra bags as well. Moving us on to the servo, which is the glider. Prototype compound glider. Part of the archetype set, looking absolutely badass. Moving us on to the caliper harvesting tool, on parallel precision. Let's see the swing animation. Again, standard sound. Moving us on from this, we have the return of the henchman bundle. Now you guys know we have two styles with these skins. We have the default, and then we have the alternate for each, where they pretty much are pretty much given shorts, which I think is very very cool because hey, even henchmen of the day have to go to the beach. Moving us on to the return of the last part of the featured store, we have the return of the legendary Deadfire Reactive Skin. This town ain't big enough. Now, as you guys can see, the description reads, the skin is tran the skin transformed by dealing damage or by outliving other players. So if you're one of those people like me that tries to outlast people when it comes to the end, you guys will have this skin upgraded. Uh, part of the Western Wild set, first introduced in OG Season 6, legendary, like I said. Moving us to the styles, we have the default. And then we have the alternate, which is the ghost style. As you guys can see, you can, you can see him in the background powering up. Moving us on to the back bling, we have the legendary shackled stone. Keep it contained. Now again, this is reactive and this will transform by outlasting um, opponents or by dealing damage. Moving us on to the 
styles, we have the default. And then we have the ghost style. Again, very, very cool. Moving us on from this, we have the harvesting tool where we have pretty much the same reactivity. We have the dark shard, splintered from geometric perfection. Let's see those styles. So we have the default, and then we have the spectre shard. Very, very cool. Moving us on to the return of the bunny wolf and the Leon skin. Both have reactive styles. We have the bunny wolf, your animal power glows through. Part of the Neon Jungle set, first introduced in Chapter 2, Season 2. You guys already know of my favourite season. So moving us into the styles. Now they are reactive, so we don't need to we can skip past the first style. So we pretty much have the Neon Bunny. And then we have the Neon Wolf. We then move on to the back bling where we have the heart grid. Advanced construction for maximum heart. Again, we already have the reactive version. So we've got the neon blue. And then we have the neon pink. How do you switch between these styles, you ask? So pretty much, um, this is how Fortnite always likes to keep up with the memes and stuff that's going on. So yeah, you switch, switch styles by changing between your harvesting tool and your weapon. You know, a lot of people do that by default, especially big streamers. They do that by default just by running. So again, that's how you know Fortnite likes to keep up with the gags. Moving us on to the... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Moving us on to the other skin, should say. Moving us on to the Neon skin, Prowl the Neon Knight. Two styles again. So we've got the default, which is the Neon Llama. We then move on to the alternate, which is the Neon Lion. Again, pretty much by switching styles between your harvesting tool and your weapon and your switch styles. Moving us on to the back bling, we have the Diamond Grid. High tech and high stakes. Two styles again. We've got the neon purple default. And then we have the alternate star, which is the neon orange. Very, very cool skins, guys. Last but not least, we have the neon animal animated wrap. As you guys can see, it is animated and reactive. So, as you guys can see, animated over about halfway down the weapon. We've got like a scan line effect. But as you guys can see, I can cycle through various different weapon models, as you guys can see on screen. Looks amazing on the sniper. Moving us on from this, however, we move from the featured store to the daily store. So, we start off with the Prickly Patroller. Just a cactus, being a cactus. I mean, again, nice little cool style for Ramirez. Moving us on to the return of the Atlantean Fish Stick. King of the Fish Sticks. Part of the Fish Atlantis set, first introduced in Chapter 2, Season 3. Literally, when we got um, Aquaman as a Battle Pass skin, or as a secret Battle Pass skin. Really, really cool. Moving us on the back bling, we have the Titan Scale. Harvested from a Colossus of the Deep. I mean, damn. Moving us on to the return of the items in the daily store, we have the Fork Knife, or some people call it Knife and Fork. Don't forget your table manners. First introduced in OG Season 9. So yes, for those of you that are left-handed or right-handed, the first style is the Fork Knife, and then the second style is the Knife Fork even though that literally looks like two forks. <laughs> anyway, moving us away from this, we move on to the Make It Plantain emote. It's Bananas, first introduced in the OG Season 9, first introduced in the, literally, well, the season after the um, volcanoes. Anyway, moving us on to the return of the Chopper Glider, calling in air support. Part of the Tropic Troopers set, first introduced in the OG Season 8. And one thing I love about Fortnite, that sometimes they'll bring out things the season after to pretty much remind you of last season, especially the Make It Plantain. Anyway, moving us on to the last one at least, Rock, Paper, Scissors. So every time we do this, I think we've only won maybe once or twice. So I'm going with Rock. So let's see what Fortnite goes with. Best out of three. Okay, I beat them that time. Next, Paper. Okay, they beat me that time. Last one at least. I'm staying with Rock this time. Okay, well, you know what, Fortnite, you keep it, you won, fair enough. Anyway, I'm not salty, just let's keep it moving. Anyway, moving us into the Marvel section of the item shop where we still have the Captain America skin. These are really, really cool skins to get, guys, because, again, we have three days until, well, technically, it is July the 2nd now in the early morning, so we've got two days until July the 4th, obviously, American Independence. 
Uh, so moving us on, we have the return of the Grand Salute emote that comes back with the Captain America skin. They are literally like neck and neck. They literally like, you know, come back at the same time. We have the Captain America and Bright Star bundle. I have already covered this in its own is or isn't that worth it bundle video. Moving us on to the return of Nick Fury, really hot right now, especially with Secret Invasion. Bit of a, a bit of promotion for myself. I have um, recorded my episode two review that is up on TikTok and it is up on YouTube, so check that out. Anyway, moving us on to the return of the Gods of the Thunder Pack, or sorry, Gods of Thunder Pack, Iron Man Zero. We've got the Hulk, Thanos, the infamous Snap. We've got Black Widow, Hawkeye. Moving us on to the bottom now, we have the Styri Pack and the Yennefer Venipurg bundle. Really, really cool items, guys. I don't know why, again, Fortnite actually needs to fix this as an item in the item shop that just won't display. You can see the outline of it, but it just won't display, so apparently we can't see it. Anyway, moving aside to the special offers and bundles, as you guys can see, we have, again, some fireworks getting us ready for July the 4th. So yeah, we've got the fireworks animated wrap, we've got the fire, sorry, rocket spinner emote, the sparkler emote, sparkler axe, the boomer glider, the roman candle. Anyway, moving us on to last but not least, we have the special offers where we have the alien abduction bundle, we have the six item bundle, and then we have the return of some really cool items that you can buy separately in the alien abduction gear bundle. Moving us on to time, so moving us on to the time for lunch. Everybody loves little whip. If you don't like little whip, something's wrong. Anyway, moving us on for little whip, we have the stack bundle, the slice bundle, the Leven 2K Taco Tuesday bundle. We have the Tender Defender, the Flapjack Bundle, the Harvested Bounty Bundle. Again, I have already covered those in their own Is or Is Not Worth It bundle videos. But moving us on to the special offers and bundles, we still have the Wish Set Match Quest Pack, the Full Clip Pack, the, the Intrepid Engines Pack, and then so on. Again, those guys you would have seen for, um, you would have seen over the past couple of days. Anyway, guys, that was the absolute badass item shop for July the second, early morning. So as you guys can see, we have the Razor Ray skin. I have just finished watching Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, so my review for that should be up tomorrow night. Again, hope you guys like that video and I hope you guys watch that video. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. If you did enjoy the video, let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like the video. Also, let me know which is your favorite item. Is it the new skin? Is it one of the bundles we have in the item shop? Or just something you've been waiting for to come back? But anyway, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and join Tim Let's Catch a Vibe. Also, if you are new, please don't forget to switch on the bell notifications to get notified as soon as I upload. But more importantly, don't forget to stay vibey, and I'll catch you guys in the summer event. Peace.